In a previous episode, we talked about Trouble functions and how they help us to handle errors in our applications. However, there is more. Error handling is also supported for closures in function parameters. Let's see an example. In this function, we are confirming if a string is approving the subject or not. In order to verify the score, we are providing a closure that makes the operations for us. If the score is equal or greater than 60, then the student is approved. Now take a look at this declaration. It's not fully completed. Get score closure is a throwable closure and it's marked with throws in the definition. Inside is a student approved, we are executing a closure that may throw an error. When this happens, we need to mark the outer function with throws too. That's it. Now let's review the functions that will provide the scores. One is calling a database and that operation may fail, but we also have a function that gets the result from a memory cache. The second function will never throw an error in this example. Now let's call is a student approved and pass the database method. We are calling a function that may fail. Then we have to mark the caller with throws or directly using a do catch statement like this case. Now, instead of passing the function that reads from database, let's use the one reading from the catch. Since that get score from catch is not throwing an error, this will be a nice approach. However, Swift will complain about this because the definition of is student approved is marked as throws and the closure too. Regardless, if the actual function parameter can throw an error or not, you will require to call it as a throwable closure, even like this case when the code is totally redundant. Is there a better way to do this? Fortunately, yes, you can use rethrows. Instead of marking is student approved with throws, let's use rethrows. With this little change, now your code will require try, do catch, or throws definition only when the function parameter is actually throwing an error. Now our code is better. Remember to use rethrows in function declarations with closure parameters that might throw errors. Fun fact: map function is implemented with rethrows. If you want to learn more Swift, check out the links in the description below. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.